Hello and welcome to the Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Right now we're going to be checking in this box, but first we got to check and see what's in it because we don't want to put that into the game room and have something horrible in there that doesn't belong and we don't want to lose it. So we got to make sure we know what it is. The problem is, this is uh, our unboxing video series and I normally would let you know ahead of time what's in the box and what I'm going to be unboxing, but I have no clue what this is. None at all. Uh, it's coming from Lighting Source in Etobicoke, Ontario, and my podcast co-host Sean did some research, and lighting source in Etobicoke doesn't exist, so it's not ticking, I don't smell anything funny, so there's a chance this isn't even a game, and if it's not, those of you here watching live get a rare treat, because this is not going to go on YouTube if I'm opening up a box of underwear or something. Now, I haven't ordered anything, the only thing I can think of is it's a game, or something gaming related, there are a couple review things I've been waiting for, so when this goes live on YouTube, uh, you probably won't have the silly oops, silly graphics over here. They'll have the actual company name and all that stuff. So again, I'm Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. The only way I'm here answering your gaming and game night question and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Well, the way I'm doing that today is letting you know my thoughts on whatever's in this box as I open it so you get a live view of what I think about something and the components of whatever happens to be in here. So again, a little awkward that I don't know what this is. So um, I think that's enough wasting time. Let's see what's in the box. There's bubble wrap. Oh, it definitely looks gaming related. Let's start with, here's an order sheet. Lightning source. Sorry. Okay, now it's Lightning Source, Laverne, Texas. Okay. That's kind of weird. So, we have a very, very small book for such a big box. So, what we have in here is a game I have been asked to review called Runaway Halflings. Here you are, oh brave halflings. Here you are, your bosses lie dead on the floor, blood pooling under their cloaks and mighty swords. A shattered wand is spread like used toothpicks all around the big bad guy. They led you in, they defeated great monsters and solved complex puzzles to reach the, the treasure room. The den, the throne, the place where the monster sleeps, surrounded by its horde. The rumored fortune. Gold, jewels, and the most magnificent fabrics. But your heroes could not have been prepared for what would wait here, protecting such delicious riches. They fought valiantly while you cowered near the door. They were hit with mighty fists and claws as you cheered them on. You ogled at the magnificent gemstones that laid about. They suffered the blasts of explosive magics, and they died just as the monster fell. But you survived. But what now? The heroes have perished, beaten to a pulp. Your defenders lie in their tattered armor, broken bones and blood. There is no time to give them proper burial. You must run! Escape this wretched place, each with a bag of gold to pay for your efforts thus far. If you can bumble and flail your way out of here, this entire ordeal may have been worth the effort. So there we have runaway hirelings. I said halflings, hirelings, hirelings. It's a tabletop RPG about flailing wannabe heroes escaping unlucky dungeons. Rather cool looking art. The core of play. So, an RPG where you are playing the hirelings whose party just got wiped out and you need to escape the dungeon. <laughs> Quite the artwork. The Trap Poker. I'm guessing this is probably a character class. I gotta say, it looks pretty amusing. The Torchbearer. The Chronicler. The Dunark. The Game Session. The Epilogue. Lots of blank sheets at the end. 
So in total, it is 32 pages of text with a lot of blank space at the end. Runaway Hirelings, a game by Thomas Novacell. It looks like he's just going under thomasnovacell.com. So you can find more info at www.thomas-novacell.com. So here we go. The mystery box, the rather huge huge box for such a small book was Runaway Hirelings. I totally botched by calling it Halflings earlier. My bad. Runaway Hirelings, an RPG where you play Hirelings escaping a dungeon after their party gets wiped out. So there you go. Uh, be sure to watch tabletopbellhop.com. Click on reviews and you'll find my review of Runaway Hirelings as soon as I can get it to the table. It is an RPG, so that is going to take a uh, bit of time to get to because I can't often get an RPG group together. So that's it for today's cardboard coat check. Uh, for those of you watching here on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave. If you're here on Twitch, the follow button somewhere up there. It'd be awesome if you hit that one. Be sure to check out tabletopbellhop.com for more tabletop gaming content. Uh, if you like this video and you dig our efforts, be sure to check out our other content and stop by patreon.com forward slash tabletop bellhop where you can tip the bellhop. You can join us live every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern at Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash tabletop bellhop and catch us as we record the next tabletop bellhop gaming podcast where we answer your gaming and game night questions. Questions can be sent to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. That's it for this unboxing video of the ridiculously huge box filled with runaway hirelings. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.